day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, of course, we're going to start with a new 3D design. Let's also make the world larger. Click settings, and let's do 400 by 400 so we have more room to play. And then let's name this Domino Curve. So we're going to make our domino using the simple cube. I want you to type these numbers. 28 will be the height. The depth will be 6. And we're going to do 16 in this direction. I do want the corners to be rounded, so let's put a 2 and press enter. That, my friends, is our domino. I'm not going to give it any markings, but I am going to make it white. If we zoom out, we can bring this back here and friends... So friends, here is how this whole thing is going to work. First, set your nudge to 5 millimeters. Friends, we click Control D and do three nudges. One, two, three. Notice because we had it set to 5 millimeters, that's why it moved. Then I'm going to tell you to click the rotation handle, type 12, and press Enter. Friends, when you do Control D without touching anything else, it then makes a duplicate and rotates it. It saves those steps. Now only go about 90 degrees. Notice that is one fourth of a clock. Then grab the entire project and do control D. And then we're going to do shift nudge to move it out close to the location. And we're going to bust out the sweet mirror tool. Click, click, and it's ready to make an awesome snake. And you can move it into place just like that. It is so slick and it's so cool. Then we can grab the entire thing again, do control D, shift nudge, and then once again, bust out the sweet mirror tool to flip it. Notice this time I only had to flip it one time as I make my incredible domino run. Almost instant. And then of course we can come over here to the motion simulator. This is where it gets really cool. I'm going to make these all plastic real quick. So I'm selecting material. You could play with other ones, but we're going to stick with plastic first. And when we hit play, we can then use the mouse to throw something to start our awesome dominoes. How cool is that? When you hit pause, you can back it up and rewatch it. See them all just standing up. And of course, when you are done, you can share what you built with everybody. When you're on this screen, you can of course take an image. You can also make a quick video. I'm gonna switch to the nine by 16. I'm gonna do shift, right click, drag to get it where I want. You can zoom in and zoom out. And when you hit create video, it will make a video of that project. I've got mine set to ask where it saves. Yours may save automatically, but, but then you have a cool video where you can show everybody your awesome domino project. Friends, I'm hoping you have a ton of fun exploring this and making your own awesome domino course. Remember, when you're done, you can go back to this screen and you can click up here on the properties give it a name of course mine is going to be domino curve tutorial that tutorial will be pasted in soon in the description of course give it some tags and then down here you can make it public and i always set mine to no derivatives because of course i want you to use the tutorial to gain some wicked cool skills Friends, I do also want to remind you, if you make an awesome one and want me to see it, if you type the tag HLMT23 and press enter, then friends, when I do my search of the tag HLMT23, I will get a chance to see your awesome design and of course, give reactions. Oh my gosh, these are all fantastic. And as usual, thanks tons for sharing. I am really looking forward to seeing all the awesome variations you guys create. 
Friends, as I wrap up, let me remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of awesome categories. And then right below it, the first day lessons. These are great for anybody that's just starting out in Tinkercad. Friends, I also want to highlight the super cool built-in messaging. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad community discord. As you can see, there are more than 600 members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally friends of course if you enjoyed the video please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course friends you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.